Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how we can take a video, turn it into a mp3, and then use that mp3 in Lexus Audio Editor in order to add audio effects or other audio changes you need to do to that audio clip. So the first app we're going to need, and I'll put the links in the description of this video so that you can find them on the Google Play Store, is the Audio Video Factory. And this is by Kirby. So we're going to load this up. And what this allows us to do is to change a video into another format, including MP3 audio files. So I'm going to hit the add button here. So what we're going to need to do is to select a video from the library. So we just need to find a audio recording, which we have already done. So here you can see I have a bunch of random recordings. We're just going to go ahead and grab the most recent one here. So clicking there at the top loads it up here and we have many options including extract mp3 so that would be the quickest way in order to use it in an audio editor like lexus audio editor and now we'll hit extract mp3 on the top right to grab the entire audio clip from the video so if you want to trim part of the video you can grab on the sides here and pull them in so that you don't need to edit the entire thing later but i'm just going to leave both the start and the finish as the same as the original so that if I want to take this into a video editor as a separate audio track later on uh, that I can do that and it will line up with the original video perfectly. There are some settings you can change here but generally I don't think that's going to be necessary so we'll just go ahead and hit conversion to mp3 leaving the title as the default. So for a short video like this it goes pretty quick. Now we just need to load this into the Lexus audio editor so I'm going to go back to the home Let's click on my audio folder, so Lexus Audio Editor. So inside of this app, you can go ahead and hit the open button. And by default, the storage for those extracted MP3 files are going to be found at Storage Emulated Zero, Kirby, and then Format Factory. So it would probably be easier to identify if those videos actually had a real title with them. But here I'll just locate it by looking at the timestamps. So this one down here has the most recent timestamp. So that's obviously the one we need. And we can see the audio waveform at the bottom here. One of the key things about the Lexus Audio Editor is that you can actually apply audio effects. So if we go to the top right hand corner, make sure you stop it so that you can actually access these. Then there's this effects category. So if you click on effects, you'll find tools, namely ones like noise reduction, which can help reduce some of the background noise. So I'll go ahead and try noise reduction here. I've played around a little bit with the settings, but you could probably try with the defaults initially. If you want to see how it's going to sound before you actually commit it, you can just go where you have video. If you want to see how the audio is going to sound before you commit the effect, you can just uh, take the timeline cursor, position it where you want to hear back your audio, hit play, and as long as preview on and off is checked, you're gonna hear it with the effect on if preview is on or without the effect if preview is off. So once you're satisfied, you can go ahead and hit apply. And then you should see some changes to your audio waveform. Now in this case, maybe it reduced the audio I actually wanted to keep by a little too much. Uh, so I might need to play around with those settings later. But if you actually like your results and you just wanna increase the audio volume, you can click up here in the top right, go to effects and normalize. And then that will bring your audio levels up until your loudest sounds get close to the peak. So that should help with the final audio levels of your export. So at this point, if you want to bring this back into another program or just export it in general, you can hit save. Find a folder on your phone. I'll just give it a different title here. Exported video audio m4a we'll go with that format uh, if you click down there there's actually many different formats so you could just export it as a mp3 if you want if you click down there at the bottom you can actually see that there's different audio formats so i'll go ahead and hit save here and we've now exported our edited audio and we could load that into another program such as bringing the edited audio into a video editor. So this ends up being a pretty handy workaround if you want to edit audio on your Android devices. So hopefully you got something out of this video. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in my future video content.